hi guys welcome to my channel today we have a shop my stash or bi-weekly makeup basket where I go through all of my products that I've been using for the past two weeks and then what I do is I rotate um, we go over to my makeup drawers and rotate and bring some new items in now as you've probably seen by the title this is a different one this is a holiday vacation edition because I'm going on holidays on Monday I usually film this on a Sunday but today's Saturday because I need time to um, pack we're going to pick out specifically travel friendly kind of makeup um, so we're gonna go through all of these items and I'll show you the looks that I've done with them I didn't wear as much makeup I found this fortnight I don't know why I just didn't I definitely used everything I'm pretty sure I used all I think there's one thing I did not use, but I pretty much used everything at least once. Um, some things I used many times. So let's get right into it. I usually start with my complexion. I had one primer. This is the NARS. Um, it's called a Tinted Glow Booster, and it's the shade Calvoya. And I think I only used this once or twice. I just forgot. And it's very similar to my Project Pan. It's a bit illuminating, moisturizing. Um, so I will put that back. I didn't use that as much as I wanted to. I have two concealers. Disgraceful. I don't even think I use this once. And this is like my favorite concealer. Ah, that's what I need to mention. I faked tan for one of the two weeks. So this is too light. Some of my makeup was too light to use. So I ended up using things that weren't in my Project Pan or my Shop My Stash, like foundation and bronzers. Uh, because I decided to fake tan. So that wasn't very smart. And I just did it in the second week as well. Like not even in the first week. Silly me. So this is too light. So I didn't even use this. But it is my favorite um, concealer. And then my RMS Beauty Uncover Up. I think I only use this once or twice. It's pretty, pretty bad. It didn't have a great rotation. I'm usually very good. If I do say so myself. Um, let's go over to foundation. I think I only used this one once. Um, I used a lot of my Project Pan, and like I said, I had to use, um, I have this darker NARS that's too dark for me, so I mix it when I fake tan, um, and you can see there's only a little bit, so I just keep it on my counter for when I need to darken up a foundation. So I was using that a lot um, with my Project Pan, so I think I only used this once. It's not very good, and I'm really sorry. Um, this... I think I'm going to keep in because it's tiny and I think I'm going to have it as my like tinted moisturizer. When I say tinted moisturizer, I mean like really light coverage foundation and it's just a perfect size to travel with. And I didn't use this once, so I do need to keep this in. This is the Tarte C Hydroflex in 12N Fair. So yes, I'm going to keep that in and take it with me. So I had three clean products. I have the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I did use this, but I used it in the first week when I wasn't tan, because this is quite a light shade. Um, this is Tan Lines, which is one of the lightest ones. I use this quite a bit. This is the By Terry Brightening CC Blush Serum, um, because this uh, has good pigment for light to medium skin tones. So, I mean, I don't, it might go on deep. I'm, I actually don't know. But it has good pigment on it. So you can see I'm starting to get some decent usage on this product. Um, I do really, really enjoy it. It's really pretty. It just really smells of rose, which I don't love. But it's a really nice product. Then I had my Cossus 8th Muse Color and Light Cream Duo. And I did not use this as much as I wanted. I think I used it once or twice. I think it's just the consistency. I, I can't go over it with a powder, I feel. So it's very much a cream only kind of day. Um, my two face powders, I usually pick a loose and a pressed. This is brand new to me. This is the new NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder Translucent Crystal. Now they always had the pressed version, but they've just recently brought out a loose version. And it's so lovely. It's really nice if you have drier skin because it's very fine. And it has the sifter so you don't pick up too much product. So really, I really enjoy using it. Um, so I do recommend that if you have drier or mature skin. This is new to me as well. This is the Emco Beauty Brighten and Correct Banana Powder. I used this so much, I've actually lost one of the bananas. I only used this once before I put it in the rotation. I use this quite a lot. 
and I really, really like it. I really like it. So I'm really happy with the two powders I had this fortnight. Um, here we have the Milani Luminoso blush, and I just love this. I just, this is, this is not old for me. I bought this within the past, I want to say six to 12 months. So this is new to me and I just love it. It is such a good color. I'm actually wearing it today. Uh, when I show you my eyeshadow, my yellow look, this is what I'm wearing. Uh, this is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and Bling Me to Life. I don't know if this was limited edition, but I bought it at Christmas. And I bought it with this, it came with this brush, which I'm actually taking with me. Because it's thick enough to be able to use for bronzer. Um, and contour. It's a really nice brush. So these came in like a Christmas set. Um, but I bought this for as a summer highlighter and I'm currently just leaving summer going into autumn. And this is really good for when I'm fake tan. So I use this a lot. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's got to be one of my most favorite highlighters. It's just stunning. I just love it. So I really, I use that quite a lot, that one. Here we have my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. I use this quite a lot. This is way more pigmented than it looks because there's so much marble here. And when you go like this, not much comes out. But when I tell you, you get a brush in this, there is so much pigment and I do always forget and I always go in too heavy handed because it actually really picks up a lot with a brush, but not when you swatch it with your finger. I have my Nabla Skin Bronzing Powder in Umbra. I didn't use this a lot. It's one of my favorite all time bronzers, but like I said, half of it I was tanned, so this wasn't dark enough. Um, I ended up using the Milani Soleil Baked Bronzer because it's one of my darker bronzers and the Laguna bronzer in my project pan because they showed up on my tan skin. Um, so yeah, I did use it in the first week, but not, not after that. And then we have my Vive Modern Bronzer Duo in the light. And I didn't use this as much either because of reasons I've told you a million times already, but I did use it, I want to say twice. And then my highlighter, this is the Kaleidos Moon Cruiser. I think I use this once, unfortunately. This happens to me every time. Because the reality is I wear more wearable looks during the week. Um, and I would usually wear this if I was trying to do something artistic, or if I was going out, or if I was doing cool tone. But I didn't do a lot of cool tone, I did a lot of warm tone. Um, for my everyday is generally what I do. So even though this is beautiful, like you can just see, oh, it's just so pretty. Um, I didn't use it as much as I wanted to. All right, let's go here. I actually put in an eye primer. This is the Mama Mitchell Acid Rain. I'm gonna put this one back and I think I might put in a different one to take away with me. Um, my lipsticks, I wore every lipstick at least once. I wore this one once or twice. This is the Ulta 3 in Flushed. This is a nice pink. I wore um, the girl Australis Girl Boss in Empower. I wore this one, I want to say once. Keep in mind I have Project Pen as well, so I'm, I'm wearing a lip almost every day, but you know, I rotate. Um, my Bare Minerals Liquid Lip in Boss, or well, you can see the color there. I wore this one once, I think. My Kaleidos Lucid Lip in Dramatize. I'm wearing this one today with my yellow look. And then I wore this NARS Sheer Lipstick in Cruising. I wore this once as well. So I wore everything once, <laughs> which is a bad. I mean, I'm just trying to rotate and get usage out of everything. So that's okay, as long as I use it. Um, and like I said, there's only one product that I didn't use, which I'm actually keeping in for the next rotation, which is this one. I have two single eyeshadows. I have the Ulta 3 Master Metals in bronze. So beautiful. I use this a couple of times just in my everyday looks. I did forget to take some photos of when I was going out. You know, when I'm getting two kids ready and trying to get out the door in a timely manner, I sometimes forget to take a photo. Like I'll do a quick makeup look and I forget to take a photo. So that did happen. That's why I don't have that many photos this round. But I did wear makeup I want to say out of 14 day, or oh, no, it's not even 14 days, it's 12 days because I'm doing this early. I would say I wore makeup probably nine times, but I don't have nine photos. But I wore this a couple of times. I really love this for easy every day. And then I did wear this once. This is the Moon Daisy Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. 
I think I cannot remember what I used it with but I definitely tapped it over a look but I can't remember which one I think I even use it in my inner corner as well. It's so pretty. I just love this one. And then eyeshadow palettes. I have my Morphe 9T. And I think I only use this once. Um, but it's a really nice... I got a really nice look out of it. I took a photo of it and I really liked the look of it. So I'm contemplating taking this away with me. Because I have this whole thing where if I go on a plane, I'm terrified that my powder products are going to burst. So I want to take products that, if if it does break, I won't be so, so upset about it. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing with this as well. Like, I will not be taking Natasha Denona with me as much as I want to. I, I can't. The thought of losing my babies, I just, I can't deal with it. So I'm thinking of taking something like this. So I'm going to put this to the side, but it's not necessarily going to be the one, you know. Um, because it's it's not the best formula, but it, I get good looks out of it. So that's all I really need. My Kevin Aquan Jewel Pop Face and Eye Palette. I'm actually going to take this away with me. I loved using this. I have a newfound love for these shadows. I don't love... I actually liked using this as an eyeliner. When I use this, I use this all over the lid and then this as an eyeliner. They're not great quality, but once they are on my eye, they look really nice. And these two shades are actually all of these three, four shades here are good for every day. And then this for nighttime. This is a really good bronzer if I'm fair and contour if I am darker. And then this blush is quite pigmented. So we've got matte and um, glowy. And so I can use this for any skin tone as well. So if I start really tan, but then by the end of the week I'm fair, um, I can use this whole palette and it's really good. And if I do lose it, it's okay because I don't think this exists anymore. As much as I love it, it's one of those products that if I do lose it, okay, I can deal with it, you know. So my BH Cosmetics Switzerland. I am wearing this today with the yellow, brown, and then this one. That's it. And then I'm using my Project Pan Pink, a very sheer pink, kind of like this eyeshadow um, as a transition. I used, oh God, I can't even remember the looks that I did, but I'll show you pictures anyway. Um, I think I only used this one twice in total. I, I always regret not using my palettes as much. I tend to, like, you know, I tend to go for these kind of things during the day. When I'm not doing a full on look. And then my uh, be my Beauty Bay Love Notes palette. I did not use this enough. I definitely used this and forgot to take a photo. I did like a very neutral kind of look here. I used like these four. But I didn't take a photo. But it was pretty basic anyway. And like, it's not like you were missing much. Um, and I definitely did a purple. Really pretty purple look. I might have used the Moon Daisy with that actually. So yeah, I did definitely did not use this enough. That's for damn sure. But I'll bring it back soon. Don't you worry. Um, it's one of oh, it's just my one of my current favorite palettes. It's just to die for. So that's going to go back as well. So that's everything. Um, out of all of that, I'm just putting everything back. But I might be keeping that to maybe, and then I'm definitely going to be keeping these two. So let's put all of this back and go over to my makeup. I'm also gonna show you my hair care and skincare that I'm bringing. Um, and I'm gonna have three separate bags. So hair and body, makeup, and then skincare. And I'm just gonna show you at the end all of that. So let's go straight over to the makeup first. So priorities, guys. Okay, we're gonna do things a little bit differently this, um, this rotation because I wanna pick face palettes first, purely because some might have powders or bronzers and things like that. So then I don't have to go into other sections if I have them here. A bit of a strange angle because I want you to be able to see all my face palettes. One that I really want to take is this cream palette from Ulta 3. Um, it's going to have all my cream needs and I won't have to bring any individuals. This one is the contour goals palette. There are two. The other one is just contour and highlight. This one is blush, contour, bronze, highlight, everything. So I'm going to take that and it's got a pink and an orange based blush and it's really, really nice and easy to use. So I'm going to take that. 
Um, and then I really want to take my NARS Summer Lights palette. Now this is discontinued. I took this on my last weekend getaway and I just loved it. This is a highlight, this is a bronzer, and then these are eyeshadows. And it just creates such easy, beautiful looks for every day and even evening as well. So I'm going to take that. And I know the primer I want to take. It's, I'm just going to take... I'll take two primers because this one's tiny. This is the MCO Beauty Hydrating Face Primer and it's just like a dose of hydration. And then I'm going to bring my Hourglass for more long wear. This is the Mineral Veil. Long wear, more evening. Okay, and then face powder. I think I'd be smart to take a loose. Oh, no, I've got it. I'm going to show you at the end. I bought a face powder. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take that so I don't need to pick one here. I'm going to take a setting spray. Let's take this one. Let's take the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is my light coverage, the Tarte Hydroflex. And then I definitely know that I want to take... Here it is. <laughs> So this is the Lancome T Tint Idol Ultra Wear and I have the shade 3. So that's good shade for me when I'm tanned. Oh, maybe I'll take this. Maybe I'll take my Hourglass Illusion. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, let's take that. I'm going to take the shade Ivory and it's nice and light. I've totally messed this all up, but we'll fix that another time. And then concealer, I might actually take um, my project pan, it's a really good every day, the Cossus, I have the shade number two and it works for me when I'm tanned, so I'm going to take that one. And then I think of more of a fuller coverage, I'll probably take this Tom Ford just because it's a little bit smaller and I have the shade buff number two. Oh, that makes me feel anxious. Is that enough? Yeah, full coverage and then every day. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine, Sam. Do not stress. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I actually have more. There are a couple of things that I bought that I want to show you at the end that I'm going to add in as extra things. Okay, let's just move on. All right, here we have highlight. Now, let me get out all my face palettes so I don't overpack. I don't really need any cream products, if I'm honest. I think that'll suffice. I have a darker highlight, but I don't have a lighter highlight. Because I have this NARS one, but it is on the darker side. Oh, you know what? I only need one highlight. And then I've got the cream ones, yes. I don't need any highlight. Bronzer, I'm good for bronzer. I've got cream, I've got contour, and I have powder in all my face palettes. Blush, I have two cream blushes, and I have this one blush. So I might get one small blush. How about that? And I'm going to take one of my tiny Benefit ones here. I have four of them. So let's pick one of them. Um... I think, see the one that I have, well that's nice, is close to that, so I'm not going to take that look at all. I think it's either Dandelion or California. Okay, that's the one that I have, and then these are the three benefit. See, this is a really nice neutral, so I think I won't take that. Maybe California. I can afford to take two. They're so tiny. So maybe I'll take Dandelion and California. Oh, should I just take all of them? Look, we'll see how everything packs in to, into the bag, hey? All right, so we're not really taking anything from here because I'm good. I've got my face palettes. Go me. All right, I'm definitely going to take my... Some, I have a mini... Yeah, this is my mini Fenty I'm going to take been opened and it's freaking tiny so I'm going to take that I think I'm going to take my Kevin Aquan tubing for um, because it's not going to smudge just another option so I'm going to take those two for brows I want to take something super easy I'm going to take 
I think I'll take my Ulta 3 Shade and Shape Brow Styler in Soft Brown. And then I will take this brow gel from NYX, the brow glue. And then I'm going to take an eye primer. And I'm going to take the NYX Ultimate, Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer because it's just clear and that's what I want long wear. So eyeliner. Black, I'm gonna take over here. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Perversion. It's, I've used half of it, so it looks like a mini, even though it's not. And for brow, um, brown, I'll probably just take this because I've also made it really tiny. Um, my uh, McQueen New York, I believe it is, waterproof pencil gel liner in brown. And then I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner. It's got a nice ready tone to it. Let's take those three. I think that'll be sufficient. Um, lip liners. I'm gonna see which lipsticks I pick first before I do that. And then single eyeshadows. Ooh. What these? I think I might actually take my Project Pen Nude Sticks um, Eye Color in Twilight. It's super nice and super easy, so I'm going to take that. And then, like, I love these, my OSX, but they're a bit bulky, so I think I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Au Naturel when I don't really want anything, just a little something on my eye. It's just a nice blush shade so I'm gonna take that one as well but I'm not gonna take any single shadows with me I think just the cream creams will be more suitable okay lipstick now this is gonna be more of a focus over here because these are all my minis so I'm definitely gonna take my bare minerals it's not a shade name but it's just a tiny little matte lipstick like this really nice easy to wear I'm going to take my NARS liquid, Red Liquid Lip in Star Woman. That's the perfect red. I love my mini lipsticks. Um, I've got a mini gloss. Should I take this one? My Fenty. Um, I have these mini glosses as well. Let's out all my mini glosses. I don't know what I would potentially take. I don't think I need that one. I might swatch this. That's quite nice. Maybe I'll take this one. Mecca Max in Daring. I don't think I'll take that because it doesn't really do anything. This would be maybe quite nice. That's nice. That's the shade Dashing. And then this more nice. And then I have Fenty. Fenty. Do I need to take Fenty? What I will do is I have in my current bag the large Fenty Heat, the red one. So I might switch it out with this one because it's smaller. And then I will take, I'm going to take some glosses. I think I'm going to be doing a bit of glossy for every day. And they're nice and small. And then all of my lipsticks here. These are going to be basically my only options. I only want to take small lip products. I don't want to take anything big. So I've got a bold red, so I don't need that one. I might just swatch them all and then show you. All right, here are my three Shiseidos. This is the red that I have. But I kind of love this red as well. Oh, I think I want to take all three of these. I think I do. I think I do. I'm going to take all three of those. And I've got that one dark red that I'm going to put back. And then these, 
I don't need all of these. These are liquid lips, but these are a matte lipstick, and I think I prefer these. Let me swatch these for you. Okay, so here are the four liquid lips. I'm going to put this one back because I would prefer to wear that one. And then I have one, two, three. So I think I'll take that one back, that one there. And I've got these two. Maybe I'll take these two. I've got a lot of lip, but I'm going on holiday. So I'm going to have breakfast, lunch and dinner situations, you know. This is, the, this is what I think about. Okay, I'm not going to take the pink. So maybe I'll take this one, which is this one here. Because if I'm going to go want to go light, I could just go a gloss with a lip liner. And then I've got this for a nice orangey tone. Yeah, I think I've covered all bases. I've even got a nice light purple. Yeah, I think I have covered everything there. Yeah, all right, I feel confident. I have so many, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lip products. Maybe I will take, no, they've all got a purpose. They've all got a purpose. Like I'm not gonna be wearing one a day. I'm gonna be wearing multiple a day, depending on my outfit, okay? So let me just have my moment, okay? But I'm also gonna be back for another week where I, if I don't use everything, I can use them. Okay, I'm justifying it. All right, let's go to look at the eyeshadows. All right, so here's everything. And then these are potential eyeshadows that I wanna pick. Oh, here's are my lips. So here are the eyeshadows that I'm thinking. I'm not taking all of these. These are just all the mini ones that I'm potentially thinking of. I have two green eyeshadow palettes. I've got this beautiful XX Revolution one in, I think it's Extortion. Yeah, and it's really good quality if I want to do like a smoky green eye. But then I also have this Essence one Dancing Green, which is a little bit more wearable. I just don't, I just don't even know. Oh my God. But then I also have this one. I, I tend to always bring my Fenty away with me because they're so compact and you get six shades. But then I also have this one. Should I just lay them all out? Um, then I have a cooler tone. I was thinking one of these for like very purpley tones. I definitely don't need both. So this one's so tiny, but there's only two mattes in there. Oh, I think I'm going to go Fenty. Yeah, I think I will. It's just so nice and small. I think I'll definitely take these two. <laughs> they just, they just cover everything. And that's why I bought them because I've got cool tone and warm tone. And then like, I'm done. And then I've also got, oh, I've also got the ones in the face palettes too. All right, I'm not going to take Ulta 3. They're just a little bit bigger. I don't have anything that's green. I was also thinking about this. It's really light and thin, and it does cover a lot, potentially. All right, let's just take away the green. I don't need it. It was more of a want. Um, let's lay out my eyeshadows that I definitely have. Okay. So I got interrupted by my little baby girl. So we have these shadows, which is going to give me a nice dark smoky. I've got some nice brown shades, so I'm good for brown. And then we have this. I feel like this complements this. And then this complements this. Yeah. So I don't need that. I'm just going to take these. Yeah, I've got lots of eyeshadow options. And the reality is I'll probably end up using this one the most, <laughs> knowing me. Okay, so that's all of that. Um, do you want some swatches of the eyeshadows? They're really subtle, but really nice. And they've all got... The mattes are more of a satin matte. They're not like a, like a dry matte, but they're just so pretty. I love wearing this one. It's so nice. And this one too. Oh my God. And then that's just like a white. Yeah. I think we're covering all our bases and I've even got a pop of blue color. I don't have any green, but I think I will survive. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. Um, we've got like an army kind of like a khaki situation in the Fenty. <laughs> And I love this torpy shade here too. 
It's a very nice, easy palette. And I tend to only use them when I go away, but when I go away, I always take these, which is why I just never declutter them because I do use it when I go away because they're just so tiny and they just pack a punch and they're everything that I want. And then Cadet, which is number seven. And this inner corner is just absolutely everything. Gosh, it's so good. I love this palette. So yeah, that's all of that. That's the two Fenty palettes. And then here we have the NARS palette and the Kevin Aquan palette. So yeah, I think I've definitely got a lot of eyeshadows. The reality is I just want to take everything, but you just can't. <laughs> you just can't. And when I get there, I probably won't even use everything, but I am one of those people that likes to have options. So that is, that is that. Now I want to, this is going to be a long video. Now I want to show you everything that I'm taking with me. So let's put, try and fit all of this in my makeup bag. I am going to the Gold Coast and I'm staying at the Versace Palazzo Hotel. And I have this Versace bag. So I'm going to put my makeup in here. And it's nice and big and roomy. So I'm going to start with the palettes. Fit anything in there, and then I have my brush tin of all my smaller size brushes. So I've got face, a little bit of face, and eye, but mainly eye, and that's going to fit in there too. And then I have these random ones. So I've got my sponge. I had just recently cleaned it, so it's still big. Um, and then I have blush, cream products. This will be good for my cream palette. Um, a little kabuki and that'll be good for concealer and foundation. So I'm going to put all of those in there and I actually need to take this out. I don't want to burst the bag but that all easily fits in there and then we have this. Oh that's so good. This is my skincare and I always have this all ready ready to go because it's just all my minis that I have in here. So I didn't even have to pack this. So I've got a deep conditioning mask and I'm going to be going the salt water chlorine. So I've got that. And then I have the Farewell Freeze Blow Dry Perfection Heat Protecting Cream in a nice sample size. Um, I got this for free. So I didn't buy this. I got this in like a, a set, but it's just a daily wash. They say it's for, you know, feminine, you know, private areas. But all it really means is that it's soap free. Um, so it's a nice gentle soap wash that I'm going to bring. I've got shampoo and conditioner. This is the Bumble and Bumble Bond Building Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. I have a toothbrush. I have my sunscreen from Mecca Cosmetica. This is 50 plus for my face. I have a little body one. We're going to see. I'll probably end up using it all very quickly. But I brought this. Um, I, I bought it when I... Um, I bought it as an extra to get the free shipping when I got my ultraviolet face sunscreen. I have a go-to fancy face cleansing oil and I've got about that much in there, but that'll definitely last me for the week. I have mini toothpaste. I have the minis of the drunk elephant. So I have the C Tango eye cream, the B Hydra serum, the marula oil and I still have quite a decent amount of the Lala Retro cream and then I have a cleanser from Sephora which is a cleanse and tone clean skin gel so that is my full face there and then I've got a little bit of hair and body which I should be separating actually because I wanted to keep skin body and hair separate but I can definitely put these in here. That's hair. That's hair. Um, I can put body in here actually. I've got enough space. Face and body in here. Is there any other body? Oh, that's what I also wanted to put in. 
I've got my La Mer hand cream. I know it's a bit bougie, but um, I'm going to put that in there. Then I have these. I'm going to put in my skincare. Oh, my fragrances. Um, so here we have the Extra Strength Daily Peel. I'm going to put two of those in. And then I also got these um, Self Tanner for Face, Intense Glow and Gradual Glow. Um, I have three. I used one, but I don't think I put it on long enough because it didn't really do anything. Um, so maybe I will just take these two gradual ones and I'll leave that one. Then I'm going to put my fragrance in here as well. So I've pre-picked my fragrance. I have um, Another, which is the brand, Another. I have the OR 2018, which is Oriental, which will be my nighttime fragrance. I have Wilhelm Perfumery Mango Skin, which is just like summer in a bottle. I have Ellis Brooklyn Salt, which is nice and beachy. And then I have Mason Francis Ketajan Aqua Universally, which is a perfect, soft, everyday love. This is one of my favorite perfumes. So I'm gonna pop those in there. I'm gonna, I actually forgot my two, um, makeup that I forgot to put in. This is the Hourglass Veils Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to pot it, put in. I just recently bought this. So I'm going to put that one in as my powder because I didn't pick a powder if you remember. And then I have my two Bobbi Brown brand new um, skin concealer stick and skin corrector stick. I'm going to put these in my bag uh, because they're good for touch-ups. So that's not going to go in my makeup bag. That's because it's an actual stick. I'm going to put that in my handbag just so you know. Um, and then the rest of my hair is my mini, mini paddle brush from GHD that I just bought. Isn't it so cute? It was only like $28 from Mecca. It wasn't too bad. So I'm going to put that in because my hairbrush is massive. So I didn't want to take that. Um, I have my Living Proof Dry Shampoo. And then I have my GHD um, hairspray. Now, in terms of, I'm going to use the hair dryer that I supply, so I'm not bringing the hair dryer. And then I think I might just bring my hair straightener. I have a Dyson, but it's too bulky. It's too bulky. So I think that's everything that I'm going to take. It's a lot, but I'm a lot, so it's fitting. So that's everything. Uh, there we go. All right. That's everything that I'm packing. And then I'll probably add some hair tools, um, but not much more. I think that'll basically be it. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will be back to show you all my holiday looks and hopefully have a little bit of a tan, a natural glow, a refresh, feeling good. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.